Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. One of the most game-changing features has landed in Power BI and it's going to completely change the way you write DAX. Tired of copy-pasting the same year-over-year -year formulas or the KPI logic into every single report? We all have been there, it's boring, it's messy and it's a nightmare to maintain. Well, say hello to user-defined functions in DAX, the brand new September 2025 release feature. Now you can create your own custom functions once and reuse them across your reports. In this video, I'll show you how to turn your year-over-year -year growth KPI status into reusable plug-and-play functions that will save you time and makes your DAX cleaner than ever. Don't miss to watch the entire video and then comment down in the section below telling me your use case where you are going to be using the user-defined functions. First, let's understand what are user-defined functions. User-defined functions are, are functions that can be defined once and can be recalled again and again. Now, let me show you with an example. First of all, since this is a preview feature, go to the File, Options and Settings. Under Options, go to Preview Features and then check this box which says DAX user defined functions. Once you do that, you will have access to create user defined functions. And let us start by defining the first UDF. I'm going to define, the first statement here is called define. And then on the next line, I'm going to type in function. And after the function, I'm going to give it a name. Let us say for example, demo mat and say is equals to and then open brackets and for the sake of this very simple tutorial for you to understand the user defined functions, I'm going to start with a very basic example, a comma b, and then close the brackets here, followed by you need to add an arrow like this. Now this is the first part of the function. And on the next line, you will have to define what is it that you want a and b to do. In this case, I want, let us say, I want to add a plus b. Now, if you notice that this is basically referring to the variables that we have defined here, a plus b, you can also do a multiply by b or you can also do a divide by b. For a simple example here, I'm going to do a plus b and then what I'm going to do here is click on update model with changes and then click on update model. Now, you will see that under our functions in our semantic model, we have added a demo math user defined function. Now let's go back into our report view and I'm going to create a new measure and let's call this measure as demo math and say is equals to and in my measure section I can now call in the user defined functions that I created which is demo math and then you can see that it's asking for two different parameters a comma b I can say 10 comma 10 close the brackets and confirm a new measure is now created here called demo mat. When I add, when I add this into a card, you will see that the result is 20. And if I change this to let us say 100, and you will see the result immediately changing to 110. And in this user defined function, I'm nowhere defining here in my DAX that I need to add 10 plus 100. That is defined here in my user defined function. Now let's take this one step ahead and show you another example where you can create your over your formula. I'm going to define a new function and on the next line function. And this time I need two parameters. First parameter here is going to be my current, sorry, function. Let's give it a name and call this as your over your growth is equals to and then open brackets and say current value comma ly value or you can call this as a previous value as well close the brackets and then add the arrow here and now you will have to define what is it that you want to do with current value and last year value now i will use the divide function to calculate the year over year growth percentage and to do that my numerator here is going to be current value and you will notice that i have this particular variable appearing here current value minus ly value comma and now I need to enter my denominator and I'm going to enter my ly value in here close the brackets and now our function is complete now let's evaluate this particular function right here so that I can show you the results let's call in the user defined function that we just created which is year over year growth and you can see that there's a little f here appearing year over year growth and now there are two arguments 
and the first argument here is to mention the current value in this case i will use the measure created here called total sales followed by a comma the second argument here is last year value if i type in ly i have the sale last year measure created and i'm going to close the brackets and close the parenthesis here and click on run you will immediately see that i'm getting a value here as 0 0.28 which is basically my year over year growth percentage and now I'm happy with this. What I will do is I will delete this and say update model with changes. Click on update model and immediately the year over year growth function is added. Now I will show you how this is going to help you. Now when I create a new measure and let's call this as sales year over year is equals to and when I type in year over year growth, I have my user defined function here. It's asking for my two different arguments, current value and LY value. In the last example, I showed you how to create year over year growth using user defined function for total sales. Now I'm going to show you for total orders. So for current value, I'm going to type in total orders, total number of orders, followed by a comma. The last year value here is when I type in LY, I have orders last year. Close the brackets and let me also change this to orders instead of sales and now I have a new measure created and change this into a card and change this to percentage and now you have your year over year orders created here you didn't have to write a lot of DAX your DAX looks clean and all of the magic is happening here in the background in the user defined function and if you want to change this into something else or, or if you want to reuse this in a different report all you have to do is just change this if I change this to total sales and if I change this to sales last year and click on confirm boom and now I have my orders year over year growth. How cool is that? Now imagine if you have a very lengthy DAX that you have to keep referring again and again, user defined functions come in really handy that you can keep referring to again and again. I'm going to show you one more example here. And this time I'm going to show you about a KPI status. I'm going to say define on the next line, say function, give this a name. I'm going to call this as KPI cf conditional formatting is equals to now i want to know whether my actual numbers have met the budget or not so i'm going to give two different arguments in here or pass in two different variables one is actual and then the budget and close the brackets add in the arrow and on the next line i will define what is it that these two variables need to do i will be using the switch statement I'm going to paste the switch statement here in the interest of time so that I don't spend time in creating this. So if my actual is greater than budget, then I want green. And if my actual is more than 70% of my budget, then I want amber or this needs to return red. And let me close the brackets here and then click on update model with changes. Click on update model. And now I have my KPI CF created. Let's go back to my report. I've quickly added a table here with category, budget, and sales information. I'm going to create a new measure and let's call this measure as sales conditional formatting is equals to and call in our UDF that we created, KPI CF, and then pass in the actual and the budget here. The actual here is sales new for by comma, the budget here is budget new okay and then close the brackets all you have to do is just pass in these two parameters here the udf in the background works and gives you the results and then click on confirm and now i can go to the category and let's apply a conditional formatting as a background color and from here i'm going to choose field value from this drop down let's go to the um, category budget stable sales cf and then click on okay and you can see that we have automatically added the conditional formatting to our table and if you want to change this and reuse this particular logic into different fields you can simply change these two variables here and get your conditional formatting in just a few seconds so the user defined functions are going to completely change the way how you write dax and so these were a couple of examples that I wanted to share with you all. So that's the brand new user defined functions in Power BI. Define once, reuse everywhere and finally say goodbye to messy and repetitive DAX. If this feature got you excited as me, hit that like button and share it with your Power BI buddies and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into latest Power BI updates. Trust me, the UDFs are going to change the way you build reports forever. See you in the next one.